My name is Jeff White. I am the founder of Great White Software. I wrote a program last week to connect the Nexus One Android phone to the Cellulon CL850 laser projection keyboard using Bluetooth technology. Nice. Looks like we've got a good test platform right here. Let's let's see if this thing works. Don't you have to hold that steady? Uh, it's pretty steady. Okay. Just extruding, extruding, extruding. I've pre-extruded a, a big ball right there for you. Oh, that should be adequate. Is that enough? I think so. So I'm going to turn it on. Oh, that's pretty slick. Okay, so that white background seems to work better than the black background we tried a little earlier. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to connect this phone to the virtual keyboard using Bluetooth. Okay. That's the Bluetooth keyboard program. I'm then going to connect to the keyboard using the Bluetooth Got menu. It. Got it. I'm selecting the CL850 Bluetooth keyboard. We'll say anybody could do that. I then get a, a pairing request. And I'm going to put 0000. zero, zero, zero. Okay. That's your top secret code. As you can see, it's now connected so to the Bluetooth password, keyboard. By the way, 000. zero, zero, zero. Remember that, everybody. <clears throat> and then I'm going to change my input mode back to the CL850 virtual keyboard. That's a pretty nice little customized cell phone holder you got there. Okay. And we've got the keyboard going. So you can use you could use this to um, answer email, search the web, um, any application that is on your Android phone that accepts text input, you could use a keyboard for. I'm going to put keys. I'm going to actually type using this, and I wrote this program by the way. So um, hmm. all you need to do is all the keys here work. So we go A B C D. You don't actually know e, how to type, do you, F. Jeff? You You're one of those hunt and peck guys. Okay. So this could work with an actual typist or a hunt and peck guy. That's right. That's okay. And don't move the camera. So let's just demonstrate a shift operation. Okay, let's do a shift operation. I'm going to do shift, seven. Oh, so you don't have to hold so the shift. Can't. No, you don't you have to hold the shift. It. And if you double shift, it does a cast lock. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of stuff. In let's go to email. Okay. Let me pick a, a current email. Ooh, how to increase my query speed. Let's reply to that. The reason why I got a keyboard is my fingers are so fat. Ooh, would you? This is working. Just zoom in on you. That you would use this well, for? Well, in, confi in confined spaces, so if you're on a plane and you only, you only have a certain amount of space, you can put your projection keyboard and your phone. You can answer emails or uh, research stuff. Um, if you're in a meeting, you don't want to take up a whole bunch of, <laughs> and then I can type without noise. See that? Just my fingertips are hitting now. It still makes noise though. Well, that's my fingertip. You yep. type there right into the, into the comments line. Do you, want to, do you want to focus in on that? Well, that, yeah, that shows that you don't have to type. How big would you say this device is? It's, it's about the size of my keys. About the size of your keys. Okay. Is it delicate or, you know? Um, you can't throw it. Uh, would, it, would, it would probably break if you threw it. The other advantage is it's not connected by a wire, so we're using Bluetooth technology. So. And how how's this thing powered? Does it have batteries in it? It's got a lithium battery in it, which will last up to two hours. Two hours. An iPhone app is on the way iPhone app is on the way, that's correct. Okay, cool. And, oh, wait, I didn't say I turned it on and off. You just touch it. It's a very, it's an electrostatic button. You don't have to actually push it. You just tap it. Okay. It turns the keyboard on and off. Okay, that's cool. And then it basically... People with fat fingers like myself, um, they can't type on with their thumbs and stuff like that. It may be a much uh, more effective method for typing into a phone. Okay, cool. Um, it's pretty intuitive to get used to, um, but it does take uh, 15 or 20 minutes or so of practice to, get, to be able to use it. Okay. Depending upon how diffuse it is, it's hard to see. Gotcha. So it has to be a reflective surface. Okay, got it.